please make welcome Leslie Hawthorne from Google and Alison Randall from O'Reilly. It doesn't work. Oh, it does work. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the fifth annual presentation of the Google O'Reilly Open Source Awards. These are our opportunity to honor community members for their contributions to free and open source software. And we have, as usual, for the last two or three years, three years, taken nominations from the community for these awards. So these award winners are actually selected by folks just like you in the audience. So without further ado, I'm going to ask Chris DeBona, Google's Open Source Programs Manager, to come on up and present our first award. Do the moderator general thing. This one works. So uh, actually, Leslie does all the work, but um, so so I really wanted her to do this. But but the next, uh, the first winner is an old friend. So I've had the good luck of working with this person for about ten years across two companies and one, or I think one, one company, two companies, whatever. Um, <laughs> but uh, he's always done remarkable work and, and I've always felt uh, a, a great admiration and respect for him technically as well as personally and emotionally. So if Brian Aker, if you're here in the room, please come up. You said you'd be here. Okay, good. So, so this is obviously for best open source database hacker. Did you say what the awards were yet? Did you see how cool they were? So show, show the Godel Escher Bach thing. So they're ones, zeros, and then flip them like this. There's a little G in there, but this is also an O for O'Reilly. So it, it's all those things. But it, you get this and five grand. And, and are we doing certificates this year or are we just letting the Lucite speak for itself? Are we doing certificates, or are we just letting the loose site speak for itself? We've never done a certificate. Well, anyways, congratulations. Thank you. You're the best database hacker. You should have a speech. Uh, well, thank you. You know, um, uh, what was it? Uh, so um, open source. Um, the most amazing thing to me about open source has been like all the like incredibly um, intelligent people I've got to meet over the years. And what really is kind of the strong part to open source for me is like, instead of working in companies where we end up, you know, learning about technology and then not being able to actually speak to any of our, um, anybody else who works on the same things. I mean, I have been able to spend, you know, a great several time sitting down with people like Richard Hip, SQLite, you know, many different Postgres developers, and actually getting to like, you know, share information. And to me, that's really kind of what's incredible with all of this. So, well, anyway, thank you very much. So we, we did something a little bit different this year, uh, which was that we actually crowdsourced some of the bios for our award winners from some of our friends because we thought it would be fun. And uh, bless Josh for being the one person to get me a bio on one of his friends. So I will go ahead and, uh, and read what Josh Burkus has written for us, if that hasn't given it away for all of you. So Bruce is one of half a dozen people who took UC Berkeley's Postgres code back in 1995 and shepherded it into the modern age of open source. While maintaining a J job as Microsoft's SQL Server Applications Consultant, Bruce spent several years of nights and weekends working on Postgres, especially the thankless task of integrating other people's patches into the core code, frustrating his wife and children, who thought he spent too much time on the computer. All this time, I thought Bruce was busy doing community stuff, his boss, Dennis Lessier, said, while you guys were busy thinking that he was working for me. Slacker though he may be, Bruce is a leader to the community and its most inspiring spokesman. And for that reason, we are very pleased to give Bruce Mamajan the award for Database Jedi Master. And you already heard about the awesome glassiness and the awesome money, so if you could give an awesome speech, we would be very pleased. Thank you. Wow, it's, uh, you gotta take a good look at this. It's, it's pretty impressive. It's like one of those laser numbers they got in the thing. That's correct. Well, actually, the community would really love to give me the award 
for get it, for the lead, open source leader who gets the most credit for doing the least amount of work. So um, I know all of you know that's really what you want to give me the award for. So again, my, my goal is just to uh, sort of push people along and make sure we're going in the right direction. And everyone else does all the work for us. And uh, Postgres has come a long way. It's exciting to win this award, not only for myself, but for the community. And, and uh, we see some really exciting things happening this year. And we have no idea what the future is going to bring, but we know it's going to be a very bright one for us. Thank you. And we've, I'm really enjoying the O'Reilly Conference, and I hope everyone else is as well. So our third award winner is Clay Johnson from Sunlight Labs. Um, Clay is the director of Sunlight Labs, where he's doing groundbreaking work, making government data available through open source software. Prior to joining Sunlight, Clay was one of the four founders of Blue State Digital, a technology and online strategy firm, which was born out of the Howard Dean campaign and also was responsible for Barack Obama's web campaign. He started the first internet knowledge exchange, uh, nopost.com, and worked as an entrepreneur in residence at a venture capital firm. But he still claims that he learned the most from his job as a waiter at Waffle House in Atlanta, Georgia. <laughs> Thank you, Clay. Uh, let me see this. God, wow. Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, are there any labbers in the room? David, Eric, uh, James, anybody? Because this, really, this is really about, I think, uh, the Sunlight Labs community. Uh, not really particularly, I, you know, uh, the guys that work with me are the ones who make it easy and do, I, this is like the deflection awards, isn't it? It's, <laughs> this is really about me. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. Uh, so we are, many of you might not know who we are, but we are really using open source to change our country and make it more accountable and transparent and just. And I hope that you will join us in what we do. It's an honor to get this award. So thank you very much. Uh, so for our fourth award winner, um, I have this awesome bio that I cribbed from his website, which I don't really want to read to you, um, for several reasons, not the least of which is he has been so busy with his latest endeavor that his bio still lists him as working on wiki travel, which as far as I know, he's not anymore. Um, I actually met Evan three years ago at the recent Changes Camp conference in Montreal, and I remembered being struck not only by the warmth of the wiki community that I met there, but just the degree to which Evan was a hub for that um, collaboration and for that just genuine affection felt among all the people who were there. And uh, Evan has been kind enough, along with a group of folks at Control Yourself Incorporated, to bring us Identica, a completely free software implementation of a microblocking software, as well as, uh, Evan, is Laconica the protocol as well? What's the open microblogging protocol called? Open microblogging protocol. Isn't it great when it's easy? That's why it's confusing. Anyway, come up here. We have a nice big piece of glass for you. I think you're fantastic. <laughs> Say something awesome. Hey, uh, thanks, everybody. Uh, and thanks a lot for uh, the award. It's, uh, it's pretty exciting. Thanks, Chris. Uh, <laughs> Okay, I'm going to tell my Chris DeBono story. It's really quick. Last year, uh, it was just after I had launched uh, Identica, and I was at OSCON, and people were just like, oh, Evan, you're so awesome. Oh, God, that was such a good idea to launch that thing. And then I saw Chris at the airport. I go up to Chris, and I'm like, hey, Chris, how's it going? I expect him to say, hey, Evan, you're so awesome. And he says, hey, Evan, could you go get me a Diet Coke? And I'm like, oh, man. <laughs> I really work for Chris Bonin. Anyways, uh, th thanks a lot. Thanks to everyone who's uh, worked uh, so hard on uh, Identica, people who've put their time and effort into it. Um, and uh, thanks a lot for the award. So our final award winner for the evening is Penny Leach 
from uh, Moodle. Uh, she unfortunately couldn't be here tonight to accept the award, um, but on her behalf to accept it is Nat, and he's going to tell us a little bit about her work. Thank you. So um, Penny sent me a little bio because it, you know, she was good and replied, replied to your email. Um, and I hadn't realized that her involvement with Moodle and Mahara, which uh, for those of you who don't know, are open source software projects that are for the educational community to help them organize classes and present uh, portfolios of the children's work or the students' work, um, that her involvement with this was actually accidental. Because when I met her, as she said in her bio, she has this lifelong love of open source. And it was turned out to be entirely by accident, which is a, a rare and wonderful thing. Um, it shouldn't have come as any surprise to her, though, because she comes from a long line of people whose middle name is Foss. So it was fated to be. Uh, nominative determinism, they call that. Your name determines your fate. Yeah, I, I can't name you some people who have lived up to that, unfortunately, because I, it's being recorded. So um, this right here is for Penny. It's a fantastic thing. She's the best education hacker, which is absolutely true. And her, she gave me a little uh, thing to read for you all as her acceptance speech. So if you would just pretend that I am perhaps several inches shorter and um, a whole lot more bouncy because of all the caffeine I've drunk, then you'll be pretending that I'm Penny and probably have more hair, actually, as well. Um, she's amazed, she said. She was amazed and overwhelmed to hear that she'd received it. I finally got a pony, were her words. <laughs> she'd like to thank Martin Dugiamis and Nigel McNee and the entire Moodle and Mahara team who have been awesome and inspiring to her. She'd like to thank companies such as Catalyst in New Zealand and now Leap in Switzerland, who have encouraged her to work in open source. And she would like to thank her amazing boyfriend, who brings her coffee and her laptop to bed in the mornings. What a wonderful man. Penny, thanks you.